Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you a very simple trick to solve a quadratic equation in just a couple of seconds. Let's look at the very first example. This is a quadratic equation and we want to solve it by using this simple trick. This simple trick simply tells you that if you add first and the last these two numbers which is 5 and negative 8 they must be equal to negative 3 and that is of course in our case the next thing what we're going to do is we are going to find the solution and our solution is going to look like of this form one of them is going to be always negative 1 the other is going to be a negative c over a we know that in our case a equals to 5 b is negative 3 and c is negative 8 so one of the solution always going to be negative 1 and the second solution is going to be negative c and c is negative 8 so the negative of this thing 8 over 5 that is our solutions and make sure that this method is going to work as long as the first number plus the last number equal to the middle number. Let's look at this next example. Our A is 1, B is positive 4, and C is positive 3. And you can see that if you add these two end numbers, first and the last, you're going to get the middle number. So our solution is going to look like always. The one of the solution is always going to be negative 1 and the second solution is going to be negative c over a c is positive 3 the opposite negative this become negative 3 over 1 so that means x equal to negative 3 is another solution how about in this example our a is 15 b is positive 13 and c is negative 2 once again the first and the last, uh, if you add them, equals to the middle one. So our this solution set is going to be simply one of the solutions is going to be always x equal to negative 1. The other one is going to be a negative c. So this negative 2 become positive 2 because negative of c. So 2 over a is 15. So these are our two solutions. And finally, let's look at this example, this quadratic equation. a is 25, b is positive 34, c is 9. Once again, first and the last number are equal to the middle number if you add them okay so so now in this case one of our solutions is going to be for sure negative one always and the second solution is going to be negative c so c is 9 so negative c become negative 9 divided by 25 this is your another solution thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos